One way we like to demonstrate the relevance of agricultural research is by thinking about how the amount of land required to grow our crops has changed over time. Here we've got a bushel of soybeans and we're going to show the amount of land required to grow that bushel of soybeans and how that's changed over time. In 1925, average soybean yields were only around eight bushels per acre, so it took a strip 15 feet wide and 354 feet long to grow that bushel of soybeans. By 1945, average yields had increased to around 15 bushels per acre, and so to grow that bushel of soybeans, it took a strip 15 feet wide and around 200 feet long. By 1970, average soybean yields had increased to around 25 bushels per acre, and a lot of that could be attributed to agricultural research into areas such as improved soybean varieties, improved fertility, and improved pest control. By 1990, average soybean yields had increased to around 30 bushels per acre. This could be attributed to agricultural research into improved soybean breeding, improved fertility, and improved pest management. By 2018, average soybean yields had increased to around 52 bushels per acre. And so to grow that same bushel of soybeans, the land required was only a strip 15 feet wide and around 56 feet long. As impressive as it is to think about the great advances we've made over the last nearly 100 years in agricultural research, it's also important to think about the challenges that lay ahead. By 2050, it's estimated that population in the world will reach around 9 billion people. To provide food and fiber for that growing population, we've got to continue to make advances in agricultural research and technology.